Morning, Ali. Morning, Morning. I I didn't get you la last night. You must have you may, it was cold anyway. Hi. Yeah. Um. I'm uh, just going on the hui. Um. I've got to go up to um, uh, Kaitaia on the uh, um, third or the second. Up to the fifth for Bundy's um, uh, son's. Uh, a court hearing on his marijuana case, but I, I was a bit weary about that. But um, anyway, I'm going to put something together for him uh, because it's it's coming before we set up. Um, it's, yeah, it's a right. serious it's a serious case uh, that um, I'm trying to make things uh, like you would do yourself straight up uh, without any any um, complication. Um, uh, and then the meet meeting on the on the tenth and eleventh. Uh, Where's that one? That's at Titi Marae. That's um, um, Te Porahau has um, set up a meeting for me to okay. to um, to be there to uh, uh, show them how things work. Yeah. Oh, good and so they're going to. He's he's. he's uh, between the Komatua and everybody, I think he he's going to give me a kōrāwai for to to go as a representative of the flag, and that's that's the part that really um, uh, is going to happen before the hui in Auckland. So so yeah, the tail is flicking flicking the head over here. <laughs> So that's a, that's an event that he's organising. I think he would take care of um, uh, that and uh, upper house. Yes, and so, yes. So that's the upper house talking, and he uh, he okay. asked me where's the best place. But I said, oh, Titi Marae, and and uh, so that's where he's arranging the hui now, and make it official uh, for a all out hui. Uh, for me to have the whole floor the whole the whole time the whole floor the whole time not ten minutes <laughs> not ten minutes to go to go through the um because I'm gonna copy the book out the original book in the four 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 regions of New Zealand um, the original Maori government um, 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 protocol of how they set it up I got it here. <clears throat> yeah. 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 So, they, so they've had a, a good long talk. Um, I mean, with um, uh, Porto and his crew, and um, uh, was was uh, up up um, um, was Hoi Hipa there? Yeah, he came over to wow. the, uh, you know, the, the flag. The flag they bought off you? Yeah, yeah, well, that's... Uh, Bundy did? Um, he um, just came up for that uh, purpose to burst the, the, the flags oh. in the morning, early in the morning, yeah. and then he left and uh, went to the hospital for yeah. the dialysis. Oh, that's good. Uh, I'm, glad, I'm glad that he was there because he was part of the, the Waitangi Marae Grand Jury uh, Magistrate Court. We, oh, when we opened it up, he was there, so um, uh, uh, I'm pleased. I'm pleased with that. Now that completes his side of 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 the fucker uh, meaning to, to make the political. Yeah, and he has the full history of the Moai, and his his son, his son did a, a wonderful uh, um, uh, uh, documentary on it. In, uh, in East, on East, East Island, eh? No, um, um, oh, sure. yeah. uh, um, um, son. Um, so that covers that part. And, uh, I think it was, um, Puraho or, or, or Bundy said that, um, somebody from, um, Chatham Islands will be going to the Hui as well. They, they yeah. acknowledge, Thomas, I think it is. And, uh, Lakiura and yeah. Stuart. Yeah, that's right. That Stuart from Rocky, uh, yeah, no, Stuart, yeah, Stuart Island. Island. Yeah, yeah. So that's good because now they can see some something uh, that has to be corrected, and then we yes, can yes, we, yes. we can move on. But uh, if if everybody uh, if everybody took took the seventy thirty rule, the thirty seventy population, yeah, yeah. 
then that's the numbers because the man yeah. was married will never ever, ever get money um, numbers so that's what we're going to use that formula I'll have all that together with the financials with the financials of the breakdown of the Faka Meninga being uh, funded through our organization in Auckland it, this organization will be more or less uh, funding yourself my, myself and and, and Desmond and and, and uh, that's the commercial arm here in Auckland. Uh, but um, uh, no, that's uh, that's official now that they're going to present me with um, the King William surrogate, the, the King William, the King William the Four surrogate, surrogate. So now that's an authority. You see, it it it, it would function best as an, an authority, uh, and then. Um, uh, when you come to Auckland, that means uh, you and uh, Bundy can go to the court and issue the note with the stamp on it. Um, you, des you deserve that, uh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Right. I'll, I'll, oh, really well. I'll know what to say in the right manner uh, um, for the for the courts. Um, uh, though all the writing that I do is private. Uh, it's, it's private. It's it's the way I'm writing, but then it can be dressed up. You can dress that up um, um, on the main documents, but all the rest is is public notice. Uh, now the the videos are the best evidence, better than a written document. Yes. And it's in the flesh and the blood. Me and the other one that doesn't turn up in the court becomes uh, becomes a becomes a private contract. Uh, defaulted, and then that goes that goes from Auckland in a two-hour case from two o'clock to four o'clock here, and it goes straight to uh, the Rolls Building in in the Chancery um, of, of the of the courts there, and they'll make a ruling on it, and we get the we, we get the result back with as long as the court cases are uh, have fact uh, and cita citations, then it'll come it'll it'll come back. As, as a ruling uh, against that person and then the police here are, are obliged to act. Uh, so that's what we're, we're heading for. Um, and, but uh, just the main thing was um, that Puraho um, will look after all the administration for the... Uh, uh, and and we'll, we will be running from Auckland. You don't have to be in Auckland, we can always uh, go, uh, go uh, remote and um, uh, to uh, have meetings online. Meetings from here until we get our office set up. Yeah, okay. I, I've got that already set in place already. Um, uh, from, from 2012 and the bank. The bank's got those notes inside the bank in ANZ. <laughs> all I have to do is, all, all I have to do is sit in the office and ring them up to come up. And I say, I say I have position and I have uh, the phones connected, and I have title, and and that's all that has to happen um, on that hui in Auckland. Uh, that's that's on a Friday, but we will we will um, issue notice to the courts uh, in the in the hours in the day hours, and to the, to the police on that day, and then our court hearing starts at two o'clock. So. Um, uh, there's plenty of space for for a lot to sleep in in the bottom, but if we need the top, there's more for 30 people in the top of the of the marae there, that Catholic Church marae. I used to have all my hui's there with Moi Manigao. Uh, yeah, of course it was cost me free. It cost free, and then they started charging hundred hundred dollars a hui, and that's even still cheap. So, so what happens is we'll be talking about the cost of the, the court hearing in London because on, on, I'm just going to put a figure that we can get um, through the court and pay, pay the fees there. They won't do anything until the fees are paid. So we'll look at, we'll look at that when we're having our meeting up there and uh, when they come down to Auckland that will be all set to, to put straight online. That that's happens straight away online. And, to, and, and, and that's what they made those courts more streamlined for doing international um, um, court hearings. 
and they've got one going there at the moment, one trillion pounds, and uh, a billion case one from here in New Zealand. They've got that going on over there as well. Uh, all, all the hard cases in the magistrate. Yeah. Yeah, we're in the magistrate court because they're the only ones that can have jurisdiction from a foreign country. Uh, before the, the high court can't do foreign countries. Uh, and so that's where we go into the magistrate court, then in, into the high court. Yeah, Paddington. Eh? Yeah, Paddington. We, we alert them first, send the letter over from, from the authority, the Whakamininga authority, and then, it, then we send the other one to the Rolls building. Uh, that's where that's where the money is. That's where the not in the magistrate court. They don't do um, uh, it goes into the high court. The, yeah, the high court and the ju judiciary or the justice. The the new it's not a chancellor anymore. It's, it's the chief justice is the final say on on anything. Uh, but we're going to the high court first. Yeah. So I'm, I'm 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 pleased now that it's already up 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 north and uh, I know what to do in my job, um, and that's the bank, that's the bank, and and you fellas know what you do with your job, and um, uh, yeah, that's how it works. And put a hoe and all the rest of them can do the political. They have to look after that side on on the the titiriti, and and the eighteen thirty five and pull the bills and hand them over to you fellas. And then it comes into this uh, Auckland one to to uh, go to the bank. Yeah. yeah. Matua, Matua, I'll come up and uh, oh, when you come up, I'll come up to meet up with you at uh, Kaikohe or, yeah. or Kaitaia. Kaitaia. To bless, to bless those, uh, those steps. So. Yeah, I'm going to bring them up. Yeah. I need yeah. I need to be there with you. you you'll be, uh, but that's not too far away. That's only on the second. Yeah. I'll let you know close to the time because uh, the, the Bundy's boys um, uh, court hearings on the fifth, but I wanted to. Put, I'm going to put the documents together to stamp there, and then he can take it into the court, and into the police. And that, wh uh, what I'm doing here is using our prerogative to claim the plant. We're, 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 we're claiming that under uh, under the Moai Crown King William IV Trust patent. Uh, any plant, any plant grown on this land, and that includes the marijuana plant for our economy. The, you can make houses and you can make uh, car bodies out of out of that stuff. <laughs> That's the, yeah, 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 yeah. So I've already sorted that one out, and that's that's the reason of this is is that um, he's been arrested for having those things in his possession. Just like everybody else having in position, there's worse criminals in in the corporate side uh, uh, than on the, the domestic side. So we are using that as a precedent case in um, ahead of uh, ahead of the meeting up in uh, Waitangi to to um, stamp their approval, then bring it to Auckland to the commercial side. Hey, how's that? Yeah, no. Uh, I'm, I'm very much uh, want to keep my n name clean. Yeah, the, that's right. For the real, for yeah, the real, uh, yeah. I think it's been. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Keep it separate. Keep yeah. keep it separate and let yes. let me uh, handle that uh, yeah, with right. Bundy so that he can he can trial the system right. and test it. He he can test it because it's a big issue if he if he manages to get by without upsetting the public Thank you. Um, Thank because you. We're, we're there for the public. This yeah. organization in Auckland is for the public and that's the 70 percent. Right? They'll, they'll soon jump on when they'll see, see, see one claim go through on Cook Street. They'll jump. Yeah, that's the one. That's yeah. the one. And then when we go to England, it's 70 percent of the whole world oh, yeah, yeah. population from England yeah. and they'll go for it. They'll jump onto that. All right, that's all there is. Awesome. That's awesome. all there is, um, uh, money. I'm glad you called me. Uh, and uh, I was going to try you again, but it's it's nice weather today. I can see outside my window. And I'm, yeah. 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 So you in to um, Yeah. Yeah. Yesterday. Yesterday, I think. Yeah.
Yeah, dead for it's history. Lovely here on front of the bus stop. Yeah, dead, dead for history. Oh, beautiful yeah. day too. Yeah, over here it's clear skies this morning, and right, I'm right. going up for walk, my walk again. I'm having more exercise now, and um, so I'm feeling a lot better. I need to, I need to be in in good health uh, to stand and talk. Um, mm, mm. So that's how we're going to go yep. for every scrapping cent, uh, Manahi, of everything yes. we, we claim. And we uh, the, the main issue here in Auckland is we're testing one by one, one person at a time, uh, yeah. against against them uh, accusing them, and they're going to have the front, even the council. Uh, they are the ones that are picking up uh, the revenue on behalf of the Queen or the King. Uh, and so they have, they have got to, they, I'm telling Bundy, they have to open the books if he wants to look and see where all the funding is going. Uh, in any, in any count, council. So that, that, uh, that's the other missing Maori that's supposed to be on the opposite side of the, of the couch. <laughs> missing Maori. missing Maori. Yeah, you know. That's 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 what I suppose they legislated it out, so we're legislating you back in. <laughs> so so um, I know in the court rules that the public, if the court's got the word public on it, you can go and book it for your own court hearing. I'm going to I'm going to try that one first, but we got the morale anyway. But if if I'm if I'm allowed to do it, I'll do it. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay money. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. Bye. There you go. That's money. I'm glad he rang me because I rang last night and I couldn't get him. He's in a bad place where his um, reception is not the best in uh, uh, Kaikohe. <coughs> uh, or, 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 or Ohio. Ohio, something like that. Um, I stayed in a, in a hotel there uh, when we went up uh, and stayed yeah, Desmond and I. Or highway, or highway, or highway, something like that. Um, so, um, so with money, uh, he knows that there's supposed to be a Maori sitting on the opposite side of the judges, and they were so cunning to legislate them out so that they can't have a say. Not anymore. We're legal now, and we got someone watching us in Britain because they know it's true. It's true. To keep track of accountability, there's no checks and balances here in New Zealand. Nothing. That's a free reign. They can do what they like. That's why they're running off the rails. And uh, uh, they only look after themselves in their private businesses. Even the police got 14 companies of their own, private companies. And so we're going straight into that as well. We're going to every nook and cranny to investigate every dollar that's coming into this country and all their books are going to get opened up with this authority. You see? It took a little while to get the fish tails flapping up north. Now we're all in unison. That's with spiritual, physical and corporate. Right? Corporate being king. The flag here. Uh, so um, um, with Bundy um, I'm going to handle his case with the marijuana plant uh, that, um, that's, that's already made public so I have no qualms about talking on video, YouTube, making statements or saying what I saw in my mind. The quickest way to get it off your mind is just open it up. It won't follow you around. So I'm going to handle that and put all the documents together and stamp it with our stamp, our new stamp. And the three of them. Yeah. It's King William. And um uh, the two paramount chiefs, Tira Waikato Whare Here, Here Manukau and uh, Hongi Hika. Hongi Hika being Cook Island, Tahitian, not Maori. It was native then. There was no such thing as Maori. 
And the other chief is um, uh, Hungi Hika. Um, no, sorry. Hungi Hika is, is the Cook Island, Tahitian. And Te Rewaikato Whare Here Here is Manukau is the Moriori, sorry, Moriori. He's the Moriori um, from Chatham Islands. That's his country. Okay, so that's our, our stem. That's very powerful. And a red stamp pad. Um, so I'll be going through that with um, money and um, um, Bundy, white chai. And they have to be uh, inducted. Everyone has to be inducted into this uh, Whakaminia uh, on that day, the 11th, the 10th and 11th of um, September 2017. They have to be inducted with a stamp on documents from here on in on that day and brought to Auckland. And we're setting up our office in Auckland. The Maui Crown, King William the Fourth Trust, <coughs> for seventy percent of the population of New Zealand. In the beginnings, one of two hundred and fifty countries where the stamp and the flag is going. Okay, I'm taking that around the world uh, as ambassador to Britain, UK, and King Ernest Augustus the Fifth, reigning monarch, sovereign and blood descendant of King Ernest Augustus the First and that one's brother, that king's brother, King George the Fourth and King William the Fourth. <coughs> oh, sorry. Um, yeah, that's right. Those three brothers and their father, King George the Third. Right? That's all tied up in this eight point star on his flag with um, King William the Third, Dutchman. Okay, King William the Third, Dutchman, German, and King William the Fourth, Dutchman, German, working in England, Westminster, as kings in Westminster, King of England, and Northern Ireland, and Scotland. So uh, that's all the history I'm holding at the moment uh, that we're going to uh, inaugurate on the 10th and 11th of September 2017 on Titi Marae. Now, um, um, Te Porohau uh, Ruka, Korako, Te Korako is organising that uh, hui and um, I'll be organising the hui in Auckland on the uh, 29th Friday at 3 o'clock and Saturday the 30th of September 2017 for the Whakaminia and also for the Moai King William Ford Trust <coughs> and its business, commercial trading bank business around the 250 countries in the world from here and the main office in Britain, London, Paddington, Westminster Magistrate Court, Westminster City, Buckingham Palace. Okay, that's the area we are going to live and run the whole world under this eight-point star and this flag of a king. And King Ernest Augustus is the reigning monarch King of Britain, UK, Hanover, and Altea, New Zealand, and Pacific Islands, and the Commonwealth countries of the world under this flag. That's it. Not King William IV. Not not King. Not Prince William. Um, that Queen Elizabeth has got him as a uh, a king waiting, king in waiting. He's not our king. He's not our king, and she's not going to abdicate till she dies. She's going to sit on her own while we take her out when we go there, off the throne. Only we can do it with this flag as a contractor, 
in a partnership with the British Westminster government and the Navy, Royal British Navy, first Lord of the Sea, Sir Philip Jones. So that's our business, private, nobody's business. That's our business to replace her as a trustee, head trustee of our Queen Victoria Trust and the King William the Fourth Moai Crown Trust takes over. All that inheritance is seized of and salvaged back into the King's Bench um, King's Bench Court in Westminster Magistrate Court. That's where it started from, that's where it's going to. It's going to be re-established back into the King's custody and us, the commercial trading bank business partners. Okay, we're starting off again and re-kicking, re-asserting uh, our authority and jurisdiction under the 1852 UK British Constitution for us, New Zealand, with this flag, the founding of New Zealand flag, the New Zealand flag, the real New Zealand flag is this one. <coughs> They've got the Union Jack as the flag of New Zealand. This is a flag of the world in 250 countries under King Ernest Augustus V, reigning monarch of Britain. He's already the reigning monarch of Britain, UK, Hanover. He's already the king. <coughs> We've put him in because that's our business. Nobody else's business to inquire into. The Queen, or Queen Elizabeth II, Elizabeth R, is a third party in a two-party contract between us, the Paramount Chiefs, I'm one of the Paramount Chiefs, and the other three is Bundy Waitai, Manahi Parapara Mohini, and Hiriwini Kraka, or Selwyn Clark, the British man, 90 years old. He's the other Paramount Chief on the British contract side. See? So we've got one of yours here, and three of us here. One of yours, Clarks, with a E on the end of it, not, not like Helen Clark with no E and no brain, kicked out of the UN because she's fraudulent. She's on the hit list here as fraudulent on the 2004 Forceful Seabed Act, stealing our land without our consent. Over 80% of the chiefs in this country said no, no was yes to her and passed that act. That was the illegal part. We've got a lot of cases against all the agents of the Crown. They've committed themselves into fraud, corrupted practices, with John Key, the latest, <coughs> jumping back into New Zealand, into Auckland from Australia just last week, and being knighted with an eight-point star, our star on our flag, our jurisdiction and our authority. He's come back and put it on himself with Patsy Reddy, the Governor General. These are the mischief pirate thugs that are operating their business without any checks and balances and without any authority. No seal of the Queen, no seal of the Westminster Government, Parliament, <coughs> and no authority from the Paramount Chiefs and their hapus. The Iwi Maori has no authority or jurisdiction or titles to this country. They can't produce, they must make a video to counter what I'm saying as a surrogate King William IV, a surrogate King William III, a surrogate King George IV, a surrogate King George III, and a surrogate Ernest Augustus, King Ernest Augustus the V, the reigning monarch there, live in the flesh and blood, that it's our business with him as our oath of office. He is our oath of office to him and to Sir Philip Jones, First Lord of the Sea of the Navy, Royal British Navy, our partner, that's our legal partner in the Magistrate Court here in Titi Marae Magistrate Court, Grand Jury and Westminster Magistrate Court, Grand Jury. That's our connection. To Britain, direct. Okay, 
So I've explained earlier with money that we're conducting the court case in Auckland straight to uh, Magistrate Court in um, Westminster, Westminster Magistrate Court and to um, um, <coughs> the Rolls Building, the High Court of Admiralty on the Chancery D Division and the um, Judiciary, the <coughs> Supreme Court Judiciary. They're the ones with the higher power um, of, a, of a king. So we've got that all in place. Uh, we've got um, um, a lot of work to do before those dates. And I'm just warning again to John Key uh, um, uh, for that um, flouting our eight-point star trademark business trademark. That's our trademark on our, on our business and on my head, right there, right? This is our authority over you, John Key. You have violated the Sheriff's badge, the Eight Point Star of St. Patrick's Order, which is my family in Downpatrick County in Belfast, the Rogans, judges here in this country, and the Cosgroves come from there. Those are my ancestors there. Why Theresa May joined with the DUP party and Northern Ireland and gave one billion pounds to that division in Belfast to run their business inside Westminster. That's our title. Here's our title. There's our title. And here's our title. With the chiefs and the king. Okay, and a flag on this one stamp. That's our legal authority right through the world. Trade, trademark, patent, <coughs> crown, land patent, and every other patent, and the marijuana patent, and all the plants in this country's patent. Everything that's being derived in this country's patent is that flag and that step on any document that we fashion in our own language way of writing English. Okay? So that's what I'm saying. We have an authority that's finally going together in unison. Spirit, physical and corporate in the same game fashion on the King's Bench Court side for the common law people of the world to get their power back to the 70% of the population of the world and the population, 70% of the population of each of 250 countries. If you're watching this video, it's there for you to register for the credit of a king. The king is safer than the queen because you can see what's happened to the queen. Nothing but war. And this flag caused the war because it's a pirate's flag for stopping war, not starting war, for stopping war. They've done the opposite with it. It's for pirates. They are the pirates. The 30% of the people living comfortably, while the 70% suffer at the expense of the 30% to prop them up no more. Okay? That's our formula right across the board as being straight rule. Straight rule. You're in one or the other. You're in the 30% with the Queen and the establishment that's running right now. In debt, you're full of debt, or you're in the King's Bench side, 70% of the population of the world or any country, on the King's Bench natural person court side. We don't have to go through all the rubbish, but uh, this is a message for anybody who thinks that I'm on the corporate side of. The crown. No, that's their crown. I'm on the corporate side to counter that Queen's Bench Court corporate side with the King's Bench corporate side. Two corporates running here, one or the other. <coughs> we have the real Admiralty flag of corporations and banks, trade and development of other foreign countries under this foreign trading flag of business. It is a King's flag for business. He put it all together. 
King William IV put all the commerce in the world and the New York Stock Exchange together with his power in this flag and the money, the pound note of King William III created the pound note, the eight point star, municipalities, I'll explain that, the municipalities was put together with <coughs> St. Patrick, his father was one of the lords in Westminster, a very wealthy man. He was looking after all the council rates, collecting the rates on behalf of the king, St. Patrick's father. <coughs> and St. Patrick himself was born in um, um, Rome as a Catholic and then shifted to England and became English. And then he went to Ireland, to Northern Ireland, and started his own church because he didn't want any part of Crown Corporation's thuggery and piracy that was happening in Westminster. He didn't want a bar of it. This is the one I'm talking about. So he went to Ireland, back to his um, hometown with his uh, Irish and Scottish families. <coughs> and because there was war, civil war and all that going on, and so he started his own church, the St. Patrick's Church. There was no St. Patrick's Church in England as such, with his father was a straight politician, nothing to do with churches. So he started up his church in Belfast and went right through Ireland, setting up the St. Patrick's Churches, and they spread to America and New Zealand and around the world. He started that off for the people. He made it for the common people. He didn't want money or any taxes or anything to do with that. He just wanted natural. So that's where he started from and buried with his memorial in Downpatrick, Belfast. That's why Theresa May, the Prime Minister of Britain, is so scunning, cunning, thug, to run there to hide underneath the King William III. Dutchman's create, creation of the eight point star. That's why they all the thugs are wearing the eight point star, uh, uh, including Prince William, uh, uh, Prince Charles, the Queen, <coughs> and all their royal families are wearing the eight point star. And there is um, King Ernest Augustus the fifth wearing the eight point star as well with his wife uh, uh, from Monaco, <coughs> Caroline, Princess Caroline of Monaco, the Queen, uh, Elizabeth, um, approved their wedding. So they are legitimate, both of them are legitimate on our documents as oath of office to that king, not to any other king that's coming because Prince William cannot be a king of Britain, UK. Well, there's one already there. And he can't be a king of England either because that's not going to work or happen. Um, with this in their road, we are in their road. We're, we're in their road as the business of a king and that eight point star. That's our business. It's a third party on this video for the record that Prince William has been nominated by. Um, Queen Elizabeth II before her dying days that he'll be the king of something to take her place and so we're going to jump ahead of that before she drops dead and make sure she's sacked off the trust when I get there of our trust where all the money and we're going to open the books the same way open the books in ancient treasury and you'll find all the money's gone into Brussels and we'll pick it up there because that's our partner in the Netherlands. That's our partner with this flag. We can put the flag up there. It's a Dutchman's flag. Okay? It's a Dutchman's flag of banks, land and conquered lands, conquered countries and prize positions and royal revenue, taxes, fines. Debt owed, birth certificates, 
and all of that that's been created out of the Admiralty Court Martial laws. Okay, so that's uh, all I want to say on this video and put it up there uh, for you. So that's uh, just one more time our meeting up in um, Titi Marae is for the 10th and 11th of September 2017 and the meeting in Auckland is on a Friday <coughs> between 2 and 4 o'clock. It's open to the public uh, to come and witness a historic event of the Paramount Chiefs and the Whakamininga and this flag authority straight to Britain is live. We're just putting all those documents I have on Facebook, 106 Facebook sites. If your name's on there, John Key, you're, you've got a site of your own under Maui as a criminal fraudster, bank fraudster. And Natalie Flower New Brown, the CRB police detective that arrested me, arrested me here, she's got a site there. I've put a site there for her too. And she libeled a whole lot of them. She libeled the whole establishment in this country. Every single policeman in this country and John Key libeled every single Crown Corporation agent in the world and the TPPA and all those countries, 16 countries in the Pacific, she's libeled a whole lot of them in the Panama Papers. There's enough said about that, but we have an authority to open up the investigations with the British military. And I'm putting all the budgets together to pay them out of the pound note. That's our title under King William III, creator of the pound note and the Bank of England. That's our title to do that as contracting partners, two-party contract, partnership, ship of energy here and there. <clears throat> okay, so this is a warning to you, John Key. I'm going to write you another appearance, another court appearance for two o'clock on Friday, the 29th of September 2017, to appear in the Maori Crown Whakaminia Native Magistrate Court in Epsom, in the Marae, Te Ungawaka Marae, corner of Clyde Road and Manukau Road, Epsom, up from Broadway. 200 metres on the second satellites there. That's where it is. There's parking around the streets for people. And the Marae will be open for mostly business people. We don't want uh, people to take up a space in the Marae. It's not that big. Um, uh, there's two floors on the bottom and the top. There's 30 on the top and, and might take a few more on the bottom. I want to make sure it's a cost to everything there. I need to get a number of, um, uh, of bookings, who's coming, and ring my number 020-4085-1042 or reply to Moai Energy, M-O-A-I Energy, E-N-E-R-G-Y, at gmail.com and uh, put in your request for a um, bed for the night um, uh, and book it in because if they spare um, mattresses for others then we'll open it up to others but I'm catering for the older people in the Whakameninga and those that are coming from Waikato and Har Haraki um, to the Hui uh, then we'll cater for those in the first instance uh, arrivals um, uh, between 1 and 2 o'clock. We'll be monitoring the whole marae and uh, pick up um, koha as well as food. If
if you're coming to that hui and staying overnight, bring your food with you. Because um, <coughs> that'll help um, ease the um, financial um, part of the uh, hui. And uh, we'll necessarily go into Sunday if we need to, but I've only booked it for Friday and Saturday, more or less from um, midday onwards uh, to Sunday, um, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock. Um, so that's the latest at the moment. Or um, And uh, please uh, don't uh, bring other people who have no interest. This is business, this is corporate business that we'll be talking about. They have nothing to do with anything else. So if you're coming there, do, please do not talk about any whakapapa or anything else because it won't be listened to. I'm the chairman of that hui and it's all to do with the whakamania. Don't question the whakamania because I've got all the information and I've been through this for too long for anybody to question anything. All the questions will be asked up at Titi Marae on the 10th and 11th of September 2017. I, you can ask me anything you like there, I'll have an answer for every question you ask me. And so when it comes to Auckland, all discussions will be on Saturday, between 9 o'clock and 2 o'clock. Um, that's when we have our, our lunch at 2 o'clock, and um, then disperse from there. We'll, we'll, we'll be ending the meeting. All that will be public uh, discussions on where to from here. So I'll take questions <coughs> and <coughs> responses. <coughs> Remember, if you're coming to that hui, that's the 70% of the population of New Zealand representing by the queen, the king and the paramount chiefs. That's what that hui is for. The 70% of the population of New Zealand, not Maori, not Indian, not Chinese, not Inver, the whole bang lot of you. Okay, Maui is for everyone in the world. That's why Queen Victoria stole them and took them to London. And <coughs> it's mana. The Maui mana Tahitian from Rapa Nui, um, East Island. And that's why they commercialized it. That's what I'm saying. It's commercial. It's a crown corporation commercialized by British white men. So I'm using that corporate side of business to equal their business. We have the reigning monarch flag. We have the sovereignty of our own paramount chiefs. It's separate from the Queen's side of the ledger and the iwi Maoris. Stole all the titles from the hapu. Now the hapu has to go back and get it. That's Te Poroho's job. His job is to go and collect up all his hapus back again I've got all the plans for that and the Waka districts and everything like that under the Whakaminia, the original Whakaminia that was set up for that reason. And the four regions, <coughs> Te Taitokoro, North, that's the first republic region of parliament, their own parliament. And then you've got Te Hau Auru, their parliament down there, that's the second one. And then you've got Te Taira Fiji. That's my one, down the east coast, that region, the third region. And in the fourth region, Te Tai Tonga, down the South Island and Wellington. That's the fourth region. Those four regions come under this Whakaminia. And all the rules and regulations and protocols are in one book here. And I'll be explaining that on the 10th and 11th up in Te Timurai and copy it out for the chiefs. Okay, for the Whakameninga chiefs and the Paramount chiefs. I'll be copying that out for them so that they can follow that manual because that's the original tupunas they put together for that reason. Okay, they'll accept that Britain. <coughs> and so that's um, that's uh, uh, that side of um, politics, the political side of corporations uh, with the spiritual has been done now it's a pity I wasn't there, but however, I've got my brain screwed on this lot. And that's the spiritual they're done, and the physical is actually going to do the work, and the corporate is the business side of the law here and there. And 
that's their job is to go and collect up all our hapus <coughs> and we'll be handling all the rest of the people here in this country as 70% of population divided into the credit we get back from the crooked pirates who just flag to arrest them and lock them up and take all their assets, completely everything. That's our Maui, is blunt and rigid law. Okay, mess around with the king, you get a noose around your head because that's what this flag's supposed to do between the Paramount Chiefs and Britain and no one else. We're the ones that can change the rules or sever the contract. We're not going to sever the contract, no. We're just going to kick anybody out of the road that's tampering with our contract, including the Queen and her royal families and the Rothschild and the Church of State and everybody else. We'll get the churches back to their rightful people. The thugs are inside those churches and corrupted them, made the people go mad in America, especially America. The Queen and her thugs have colluded with Trump and made him force them to do what he's doing against the people's will. They've got their side, Soros and Hillary Clinton and Obama is on the other side, Black Lives Matter. And that's the other side of the thuggery going on in America. Two thugs, Soros and Obama and Hillary Clinton against Trump and his thugs. They've got a thug war going on, killing themselves, and they're now a bit frightened about Russia and China and North Korea. So that's the end of Rothschild Banks, and in we step with the pound note, the Moai pound note, in the Bank of England, and take that over. Because that's where we were in the first place, with King William IV and King William III, in the Bank of England and this flag <coughs> of the Eight Point Star, all of their inheritance, King George III, King George IV, King Ernest Augustus I, King Ernest Augustus V and King William IV, all those kings are inside this flag and here, inside the Eight Point Star. New municipalities in the councils in Auckland, Auckland District Council, High Court, they all pick up the King's Royal Revenue and with their Queen's Courts as administrators of that revenue. That's our business. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to check our business in the courts and the banks to find who's corrupting the King's laws. The King's laws. Mm -hmm. And our laws, the Paramount Chief's laws. I make law with the power of our chiefs, okay, and the British counterparts on the other end, waiting. <coughs> so, um, for those people, especially that man, Tim, this video is for you. Now, you're becoming a bit of a nuisance because I don't know who you are commenting on my videos and on my Facebook site. No, I'm not on there, but you're commenting on my videos and making ex accusations against Matt Taylor. Now, I haven't heard from Matt Taylor about anything he's done wrong, apart from being charged with what? And you, you, you have to tell me what he's been charged for and locked up for. And it's the same as me. I got locked up um, uh, unlawfully, and it's the same as Matt Taylor. Unlawfully. You have to prove that you were innocent and 